What is up, you two? What is up, Giants fans? It is your boy, Jay Dimes. We're back at it with another New York Giants video. Back at it with another New York Giants fan. If this is your first time watching, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you love Giants football. Now, let's get right into this one. So, Kenny Galladay gives the New York Giants fans a wake-up call. He gives them a wake-up call. Today, day seven of Giants training camp has his best day of camp by far as he was just snagging catches making those 50 50 um snags on a dory jackson on aaron robinson um him and daniel jones were firing on all cylinders daniel jones having another great day um and back to back days kenny galladay basically said hey i know wandell robinson i know Kadarius tony and those boys been, been been the eye candy of all the whole camp for the giants but you can't forget about me you can't forget about me and I just love that I love it um it was a fade route that uh Kenny God had caught over uh Dory Jackson and um I want to give credit to Daniel Jones because the ball that he threw was a beautiful pass it was a beautiful pass and I want to see more of those type of routes for Kenny Galladay um for Daniel Jones because Daniel Jones we all know you know the stats say it and you see it when he has a chance to throw the ball deep is a pretty good deep ball thrower and that pass that he threw it was a beauty it was perfecto Kenny got he snagged it down scored the touchdown and um Daniel Jones today had another great practice another great day went nine for ten I think with a few touchdowns um I want to say two touchdowns did not throw any interceptions so for all the interception guys that oh he's throwing picks in camp he's throwing he's throwing bad interceptions in practice he didn't throw no interceptions today from what I've heard. No interceptions were thrown today from what I've heard. So, you know, as we get closer and closer to preseason and the season, I want to see this more. I don't want to see, you know, Daniel Jones have a good day. Then he takes two steps back, has a bad day. I want to see DJ just progressively get better and better. I want to hear that he's getting more comfortable in the offense. He's learning things quicker. He's processing things quicker. I want to see that. I want to hear that because, you know, you don't want to be freaking in day seven of training camp. He's still having the same mistakes in the offense. You want to see him get uh, better and better, take steps forward and not take steps backwards after having a bad Monday practice. Tuesday and Wednesday, he's been good. You know, he's been very good. So I want to see him build off of these days. I want to see him build off of it. I don't want to see him, you know, come out tomorrow and not look good. I expect DJ to come out there and have another decent practice. But, um... They ended the practice off pretty decent. Uh, he threw Saquon Barkley a swing touchdown on a swing route. You know what I'm saying? Saquon Barkley is what I'm what I'm hearing again. Looking explosive. He's looking fast. He's looking great. And, you know, they're saying if the offensive line holds up, the offensive line creates holes for him, he's going to have an explosive year. So I, I love to hear that. I love to hear it. But um, Kenny Galladay steals the day. Player of the day. Make the play of the day. Just snagging catches. Um, I also want to say Darius Slayton. You know, had a great day yesterday. I didn't really cover it in um, yesterday's video, but he's had some pretty decent practices uh, as of late. I love to hear that also because Darius Slayton provides things on this offense if he can catch the ball. He's the, probably the fastest receiver, you know, on the team. So if he can actually bring the hands with the speed, he can find himself in the, uh, with a job, basically, with the Giants because, you know, Ricky James, Colin Johnson, those guys basically – been having great camps too and you know Darius Slayton been dealing with some drop passes but him and Tyrod Taylor have been basically building a little bit of a rapport with each other so you know um Darius Slayton has had great practices as of late I love to hear it um but Kenny Galladay basically steals the show man you know he goes out there and says basically I understand why not Rob saying Darius Tony is the talk of the town with the Giants community but you can't forget about me man you can't forget about me the only reason why I didn't do good last year is because Jason Garrett and Joe Judge are calling peewee plays you know what I'm saying I'm only getting freaking three yard routes He's a deep threat, you know, Kenny Gall is a deep threat and if he can stay healthy I can trust Brian Dable to you know scheme him up some of his uh, plays that we saw him do in Detroit So, you know, we got Detroit Kenny Gall today. We got Detroit Lion Kenny Gall today So I hope we can see that for the rest of the season for the rest of the season because we can you know We we're dealing with a monster at wide receiver, but um to the defense Leonard Williams and Dexter Lawrence from uh, what I've been hearing has looked very, very great. They've been battling down low or battling in the trenches with the offensive line. You know, I'm just loving the competition. Iron Shopping's Iron has been the talk uh, for me with the whole uh, 1v1s. They've been going back and forth with each other on the D-line, the O-line. 
but uh, Leonard Williams has looked great. Dexter Lawrence has looked great. Those guys are making plays. Um, Evan Neal and Kayvon Thibodeau went one on one today. Uh, you could say Kayvon Thibodeau won that rep as uh, Evan Neal got called for a holding penalty. You know, I just like seeing those two go up against each other. That was one thing that I told you guys a couple of uh, weeks ago that I was really going to be watching during Giants uh, training camp is how Kayvon Thibodeau and Evan Neal look when they go up against each other. You know, Evan Neal's going against the, uh, the vets. You know, and, J and Jihad Ward and, you know, O'Shane Zimenez is pretty, look pretty decent. And, you know, Cam Taylor's been going up against our franchise left tackle and Andrew Thomas, who's amazing. I love Andrew Thomas. He is great. I love him. He's a freaking stalwart at left tackle. I'm pretty sure we have our franchise left tackle for years to come and Andrew Thomas. You know, he's looked great all camp, you know what I'm saying? But, um... That's really it. That's really my takeaway from day seven. Kenny Galladay has him a day. You know what I'm saying? He brings back that Detroit Lion Kenny Galladay today. He looks awesome. Daniel Jones, back-to-back -back great practices. Looks great. Is looking comfortable in the offense. Is getting that ball out quick. Stick on Barkley is looking explosive. Um, freaking uh, Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence are looking great on the D-line. But um, that's really it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, and make sure that subscribe button. Until then, it's been your boy Jay Dimes, and I am out. Go Giants.